It's a Wendy, aka Kitty Street, and I've been back to Aldi's grocery store. So I um, just made a video for Aldi's about a week ago, I guess, if even, and I had this funny feeling that I needed to go back to Aldi's and get a few things because the world is kind of going nuts right now. So I ran out, and of course, it's another one of them, you know, breezy, windy, kind of dreary days. It's a little on the chilly side. I ran in to get a few things, and I came back out, and I spent another 70 bucks. I don't know how I did it. But I wanted to do this Ollie haul because I've got some items that I have never seen before. And I don't know. I'm going to try them. Some of them probably aren't the best thing for me, but I think they're interesting and enough for me to show you what kind of things Aldi is carrying right now in case you're interested in that. I also may be putting in a video because I, I did a couple of video shots of things at Aldi with all their sweets and um, seasonal things for St. Patrick's. They had Easter stuff, but of course I'm trying to stay away from most of that. But anyhow, we'll get there. Here is the aisles I'm talking about, and they designate things for seasonal items here at Aldi. And they have a bunch of sugary sweet snacks, maybe for your bunny basket, candy items. And the prices are, you know, skyrocketing like everywhere else. As you can see, um, the red tags sometimes mean it's like on a sale. The Mercy Candy used to be at even $5.00. And guys, I don't tell you, I love these Cadbury eggs. They are my favorite, but the price of them are ridiculous. But I'm not trying to have any of this um, temptation around me this year, so I just kind of wanted to do a little walkthrough. And in the past, I used to would buy a couple little things. And when my kids were young, I always had candies and things like that for their Easter baskets. But this year, I'm kind of keeping it on the minimum. My two-year-old grandson, he will probably get some things from his mom and dad. And I just have a couple little things I'm going to stuff some eggs with. But I'm going to probably do more like little trinkets and toys and things like that rather than candies. But they do have a variety. Here's a couple things for even St. Patrick's Day. Um, this year, I'm not really doing much for St. Patrick's Day. It does fall on a Sunday. So we'll probably wind up going out and eat somewhere, I'm thinking. But other than that not too much going on. Yeah, I even see these ice creams. I have had these in the past. They're okay. It just depends on how you feel about your ice creams with these flavorings in them, but they're, you know, for the holiday, for seasonal things, it's pretty cool. Another little tip too, if they don't sell out, sometimes I used to would go like the day or two after the holiday and stock up on these because they would mark them down like 50% off, sometimes even less than that. So that's a thought. But again, I'm trying to keep all these sweets and the um, candies and ice creams and such away. But yeah, can't get over these prices even at all these. But if you're looking for some, you know, special treats for Easter, if you're not, you know, concerned too much about the sugary stuff, Aldi is a good way to go. It's still going to be cheaper than some of the big box stores out there. Oh, these look very delicious. And if I got these, I would have probably saved those little cups because that's just how I roll. <laughs> Here, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I got, but I'm going to start off again with another one of these little books. These must have been like a knockoff for Valentine's and they went on a clearance special for 49 cents. If you didn't see my last Aldi haul, go check it out. I bought three of them. They were like $1.47 for three. And this was one I did not see when I was there and it was 49 cents as well. And guys, these are padded. I know you really can't tell it, but these are real padded and thick and they're just so cute. And for 49 cents, you cannot go wrong. And I'm going to put it in with my little collection that I'm building up like a little library for my grandson. And it doesn't say, I knew the sign at Aldi said these were $4.99. Not happening. $0.49, cents, yes. And it says it's the, I, I want to say it's Igloo. Yeah, Igloo Books. So I might look that up later and just see what all they have. And this one is Light Up My Heart. And again, I think it was like a Valentine thing and they just didn't sell them out. Okay, getting into the food stuff, but I did pick up that book. And the eggs. Now, last week or week and a half when I went to Aldi's, I had went to two different Aldi's because I, I needed to pick up something that the first one didn't have. And I didn't get eggs at the first visit, but the second store I went to um, a week and a half ago, their eggs were 285 
These were for a dozen were a dollar sixty nine. Now I was hoping they'd go down a little bit cheaper. Maybe this is as low as they're going to go for Easter. We still have a couple more weeks. They may get a little bit cheaper, but I was like out. I needed some eggs because I want to do some boiled eggs for myself to eat. I want to make some egg salad and I needed some, um, you know, eggs for some recipes that I'm trying to make. And this is just the golden large eggs, grade A. There's 12 of them in there. And I just picked up one because I'm hoping that they'll go down. Now I did get some hot dogs and stuff from Walmart. And I think I might've already put that video out or look for that coming. And my grandson, when he comes over, he doesn't like to have just the plain hot dog part or the wiener part. He likes to have it in some bread. And I'm gonna probably be keeping him for, a, you know, one of the weekend days for a few hours. And I thought, you know, let me get a package of hot dog buns. And my son said the same thing. He says, I see you have these Oscar Mayer wieners, but you don't have any buns. And I'm like, I didn't buy any buns because I'm trying not to eat them. But these were a dollar and nine. Guys, I used to remember when you could buy these two for a dollar at Aldi. And this is the Love and Fresh. I've had it many, many years and I like it, but I'm not going to probably be messing around with that because like I said, I'm trying it to kind of keep away from the bread stuff if I can. I'm not I'm not 100% there, but I'm working on it. I did go ahead and pick up two more of these big humongous. This is the one gallon um, purified waters from Pure Aqua. These were 85 cents. That's pretty low for the water. I do have about four of them that are underneath this table right here, but I did pick up two. So 85 cents for these are awesome. You can, you know, you need to have water on hand at all costs. I like these because I can store them better. And then I also bought, which is, I left it in the car, the 24 pack of the purified water and they were 20, uh, $2.28. And I was, I was like, man, let me go ahead and pick up one because I did buy one at Walmart or I might've got it at Sam's and they were like the big 48 pack, but that one was the one I got that I did. I'm not gonna show here now because it's out in the car, was $2.28 for 24 16 ounce bottles. And I like to use water like that, but I don't like to have it out where my kids can get it because they don't never finish it. And then there'll be pieces of bottles everywhere that bothers me. So when I get a water bottle, I usually pour it into one of my fancy cups that I got from, I got about a hundred of them and I'll just pour it in there. And it seems like I can drink them faster than just chugging a plastic water bottle. Yeah, so I drink my water. I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm so proud of myself and you'd be proud of me too. All right, so I did, if you watched my last Aldi haul, I did buy two mayonnaises last time and they were $3.35, I think I said that. When I went into the Aldi's today, these were $3. I could not believe it, $2.99 and I was like, <laughs> okay, I don't need them. I got two in the pantry. I bought two more just recently and now I got two. But for that price, I went ahead and picked them up because you don't know what inflation is gonna happen. I mean, you could blink and these will be back up to four and five dollars. And I use these. I use mayonnaise like nobody's business. I've even thought about experimenting on making my own homemade mayonnaise. That is something I've always wanted to do, not just necessarily because I started doing videos. I've always wanted to learn how to make certain things. And that's on my, my list to do that. So I will probably be doing that sooner than later. Now, the whole purpose that I went in to Aldi was to get some pizza sauce. <laughs> Really, that was like, I just need to get some pizza sauce, but I came out with all this other stuff. But my pizza sauce that I had before, I think I got it from like the Dollar Tree. It had went out and I just couldn't, you know, I just, I'm that type of person. I, and once it, the, the date's out of it, I just, in some things I used to not be as bad, but in some things I just won't do it. Because one time I got like a food poisoning or I got stomach um, virus from it and I knew it was from a spoiled food or out of date food. So I have to be very careful from it. Okay, so the lighting is going because it's kind of late in the day today. This doesn't tell me what when it goes out. I think it says, I think it says October 19th of 2024, but I'm going to be using this like ASAP. I couldn't find, I was looking for the Rayos, R-A-U apostrophe S, I think that's what it is, um, because it's a little bit less on carbs. Now, I'm only going to use like a teaspoon to put on my little pizza, so I'm not worried about the sugars and carbs because it's not enough. You know, if I was dumping a whole bunch on it, it'd be a different story. This will last me a while and I'll be making a lot of little pizzas, homemade pizzas myself. So I needed some pizza sauce and this was $1.19. So not too bad. It was like less than what you get at the Dollar Tree. So they did have the tomatoes. Um, this was 91 cents. I got four Roma tomatoes, but I want to show you this. I don't know what it was about these tomatoes, 
but they have this waxy kind of, I know you can't really tell it, but it's, and it's kind of died down a little bit, but it's like real shiny. And I was like, what is all that about? So I will be washing these very well. And I did get four of them and they look pretty good because when I went the last week or so ago, they were awful. And I needed these because I'm going to be making taco salads and um, subs in a bowl and I needed some tomatoes. So that was 91 cents for those four. And then I bought some more pepperonis because even though I didn't have the pizza sauce to make my pizzas last week or the week and a half ago, I bought, I had used up my pepperonis because I put them in the air fryer and was just eating them like chips which I love to do that, but sometimes you get tired of it, so I kind of moved away from it, and I needed some more pepperonis. So this is the Mama Cozies, I think that's how you say it, the original pepperonis. Now, this is a six ounces, and it was $2.35. I like them a little bit better because they're bigger, and I'll be putting these on my homemade pizzas. Got that. Now, one thing I am doing for my pantry is I'm getting it prepped up again for prepping food. Now, I do want to do a video on that, but I haven't got to that point yet because even though I organized my pantry, um, it's still, it got back to a hot mess again because it's just not functional. I have too many things and I need to figure out what I'm going to do. I don't know. But one of the things I saw and I had just said to myself, I wanted to get some more dry beans. Guys, the Dakota Pride, and I have never seen these at Aldi. I was pretty shocked about it. This is the 16 bean soup. And it has all the beans in there. I don't know if you can see it better here. All the different types of beans. I don't know if I can read all this because like I said, I'm losing my light even in this kitchen. But it's so many different ones. I mean, you got pintos, you've got lima beans, black eyed peas, it like English peas, um, lentils probably. Um, all kinds of them that I don't know, just all different kinds. It looks like big butter beans and all kinds. So this was $2.25. I like the Dakota Pride. I bought that before. This is going to go into my, where I put my stuff to keep for a while because it does have a long shelf life. I wanted to get more, but I wanted to see if I like these because sometimes things look good and then when you cook them, they're not good. But it does say soup mix with ham flavor, 16 bean soup, so it's already kind of got some flavoring into it. And I was gonna see what the expiration date was. It says used by um, January, 2025. But what I'm gonna do with these, probably hold on to them and when it gets you know back to the cooler weather and I might even open up some soon I haven't decided but once I open them up I will put them in a tight container with the lid airtight you've got to keep these things in an airtight container because you don't want them to go stale or you know you know spoil fast but guys this was pretty neat to me a 16 bean soup mix so, you know, it's not just plain beans like you don't have, you know, seasoning on them. I think it's going to be pretty good. And it's 20 ounces for $2 and some change. That was right up my alley. And I have never seen that before. I do like beans. So, yeah. Okay. So, let's talk about this. Now, I'm going to say that I got this for <laughs> my kids. But I actually am going to try these because they just look doggone interesting to me. It's like, what is this? It looks like a donut, but it's not a donut. This is by The Breakfast Best. It's 10 mini pancakes. And if you can see right here, it's stuffed with hazelnut, chocolate hazelnut, three grams of protein. And I can believe that. I have never, ever, ever seen something like this. I thought it was pretty cool. It's got the good, you know, how to prepare them in there. And they also had these with strawberry jam. And if these are good, and I just, you know, I'm probably going to try one of them and let it go. I'm going to, you know, probably keep these on hands probably for, you know, my when my kids come over for like a breakfast or my grandson if he wants something like this. I mean, I don't know. They just looked really, really tasty. And, of course, when I went in the store, I was really kind of hungry. And I'm like, I knew I shouldn't have been in there when I saw these things because I'd buy them. But she, my daughter likes the strawberry jams. I don't care about jams and jellies that much. The only one I really care about is like pepper jelly, but other than that, I could take it or leave it. But you put some chocolate in my face, oh my gosh. And like I said, I'm, I'm gonna try one of them and then I'll see about pinning them off. They're good till February 
um, 20, 25. So they go for a, a long time. And you can even put them in the microwave or you can just thaw them and eat them. I'm just taken back by chocolate hazelnut mini stuffed pancakes. Now these were $3.99. That's a little pricey, but when you have, when I've never tried something, I don't mind trying it once and see what it is because Aldi does have it. I wonder if it's on this bag. If you don't um, like something or you need to return something, they will return your money and you can get another, if you like say it's spoiled or something, you can get a second um, product for free. So basically you're getting the item again, and I was gonna say it's called nice, nice or something like that, I forget. Oh, it's called twice as nice. There it is right there, twice as nice. You can see that. So basically that means you can return it, get another one, and they refund your money because they don't play. So I'm gonna try these out. They look delicious. We shall see. Okay, and another thing that I, <laughs> that I saw, and this really was for my grandson because he likes waffles. My daughter um, told me that he goes to the Waffle House and they put little chocolate chip cookies in, and chocolate chip uh, morsels in his pancakes. And when I, when she told me that, I said, well, will he eat the frozen ones? And she said, yes. Yeah. So I did really try to get these for him. They're the by the same brand, that breakfast, best breakfast. These were $2.99 and there are 10 waffles in there. And if he, you know, even if he, you know, I hope he likes them they will have, he, I can, you know, have a couple of little meals for him because sometimes he will be over here and he'll spend the night and the next morning I want to, you know, make something like a little quick breakfast. And he loves his eggs and he likes sausage, but I think this would be a kind of a different try, up, try out for him. And I had never seen these before either. They were like in a little special section with those pancakes and they go till November 16th of 2024. So yeah, I'll let you guys hopefully and give some kind of review on that, even though I don't do review on Aldi food, but this just looks like something, you know, it would be nice to have on hand and the little picky eater can enjoy it. Okay, so I did pick up some of the Kirkwood's crispy chicken strips. Now I haven't done a Sam's um, Sam's Club. I don't know if other states have Sam's Clubs. I don't know if it's all over America or not, but it's in Georgia and they have like Costco and BJ's, but I was going to do a Sam's Club haul, but I forgot. And then we've already ate everything, but I had bought two packs of, I bought some chicken strips and I bought some chicken nuggets that they were supposed to be the kind that tastes just like our Chick-fil-A didn't take this. It didn't taste nothing like that to me. So I wound up giving those two big bags to my mom because she likes that kind of stuff. I don't really hardly ever eat chicken like this. The only reason, the only one I eat that I know I like this is because this tastes like real chicken to me, even though it's breast fritters with rib meat. And this is white meat chicken. Chicken, And this is a 25 ounce bag. This bag was $6.99, which is a little bit cheaper because it's been about eight bucks. 849 I think in the past. So it was 699 and I like to take these and I will put them in the air fryer or the little confectioner oven and I will bake them till they're like real 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 crisp and then I will make like a, a what I call a fried buffalo chicken salad and that's what I do with these and these things last me forever but I had gotten down to nothing and I thought the ones I got from Sam's would do the trick. They weren't and let me know if you wanted me to do a Sam's. Now, I don't go and buy bulk stuff at Sam's because it'll it'll rot or spoil before I can eat it. But the stuff that we do buy there is like the chicken salad in the tub, the croissants, the, you know, we got those two packs of um, chicken strips. We always get water there. Um, I used to get my heavy whipping cream there, but it's outrageous. Just kind of odds and ends stuff like that and fruit and hamburger meat, but the hamburger meat's gone up, so I've been buying it at Aldi. So I picked this up for $6.99, and like I said, it'll last me for quite a while. Oh, okay, so this time I did, I think if you go back and watch my other Aldi haul, I talked about the watermelon. I had gave, They only had one watermelon section in these little tubs, and here's what it was, and I went ahead and gave it to my daughter, but I have been fiending for some watermelon and some pineapples, and guys, these are $3.49 a piece, you go to Publix or anywhere that's selling fruit like this. The last time I got one, and I don't even think it had as many as this does in it. This just says it's six. No, this is 16 ounces. I don't even think the other one was 16 ounces. Yeah, both of them are 16 ounces. Um, at Publix, I paid nearly $8 for some pineapple and about $7 for some watermelon. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing that. Because I know you can buy a whole watermelon cheaper and cut it up. And you can, I can buy the, the whole pineapples at Aldi and cut it up. 
but this right here is just convenience for me. So I don't know if I can keep getting them for $349, or excuse me, $389, $389, not $349. If they're still $389, I'm gonna do this because it's just the mess of having to do it. Now, if I was, you know, had a big family, um, I'd get go ahead and buy the big watermelon, and I might do that towards the summertime. But the pineapple, I've learned that the pineapple, I never know when those are ripe. I, I just don't never know it's a hit or miss. Sometimes I get them and they're just wonderful tasting. And sometimes I cut them up and I'm talking about the natural whole pineapples because you can sometimes get them for like 99 cents, like 99 cents, not 99 cents a pound, but 99 cents at Aldi. It's awesome. And you know, if you're using it and you have recipes, that's one thing, but you know, I'd rather just pay $3.89 for that. Okay, this is another thing that I've not bought before. I'm hoping it's gonna be good. This is the Tremont Fish Market, and it's the Oven Crispy Popcorn Shrimp. And I paid $6.49 for that, which is not bad. And I will probably have four or five meals out of this. You can make it in the microwave, the deep fryer, the air fryer. And I was like, this would be really, really good just to have to have some, because I'm trying to cut back on bready kind of stuff but just to have a few here and there when I'm needing it, because I learned before when I started doing the complete bread, I would crave it all the time. So what I would do, I would buy stuff like this and I would eat, you know, do a serving size, which a serving size here is about three ounces and there's how many ounces in here? It's like 18 ounces. So if I did one serving size, I would eat that, not every week, but this will go in the freezer and I will eat it as I need to. And I love popcorn shrimp. I love it, love it, love it. And for $6.49, that's a good deal. Okay, so my mom, <laughs> she's got me spoiled on this. And I'm gonna tell you, I bought this, but, and I'm probably gonna eat a piece of it, I'm not gonna lie. This is the Bake Shop Bakery, okay? And I'm. it's been up, I guess all that food got on there. I don't know why I put that on. I put it on the bottom for it to be flat. But it's cheesecake, it's called the Bake Shop Bakery. It's got New York style cheesecake, triple chocolate cheesecake, strawberry swirl cheese cheesecake, and turtle cheesecake. And these used to be like eight, nine dollars. It's unheard of. This right here was four dollars and fifty nine cents, I guess. And she got one for four dollars and fifty nine cents. And I had one of the plain ones probably about a week ago. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh. And I know my daughter loves the strawberry. I like the plain. My son likes the plain. My mom likes the chocolate. And you know, we'll probably pan off the others. But just for four dollars and something. You can't even hardly buy one slice of cheesecake anywhere. You know, you might get two for four dollars or something, but you got what two, four, six, eight of them, and these are pretty doggone good. Four dollars and fifty nine cents. It was unheard of. So she doesn't know that I bought this already, but I'm, you know, I'm gonna make sure I get like one slice and put it away. I was trying to see about putting this in the freezer and then pulling it out on Easter. I may still do that. It just depends because Easter is like two and a half weeks away. And I wouldn't want to leave it out, but I could put it in the freezer if, you know, I took it out for that day just to put out for everybody to eat that, you know, just like an extra dessert. I don't know. But speaking of extra desserts, I never did make, I bought those, those cans of cherries from Dollar Tree, and I never did make the cherry pie. And I'm definitely going to do it at Easter because that way I can get those cherries out of my pantry and I can make the pie. And so I saw this pie crust and it was $2.45, and I think it's two of them in here. I don't know, I, yeah, two ready to bake crust. So I'm, I don't think I'm gonna make two pies, but I'll figure that out. But it was $2.45, it says it bakes within nine to 13 minutes, so I'm gonna just fill up the pie crust, dump the cherries in there. The cherries are already flavored, and that's one of the desserts we're gonna have at Easter, and I'm glad I found these because Aldi doesn't, Aldi doesn't always have those pie crusts, and I wanted that kind. I didn't want the, the graham cracker one because I just didn't think it would be better on that one's like almost like an apple pie filling, which the Dollar Tree does have. Oh, I might have to go back and get the apple filling, and I might make an apple pie and a cherry pie, or maybe a peach cobbler, I don't know, but yeah. Okay, so last time, if you did, like Ian, if you didn't check out my Aldi haul last time, I did talk about these things right here, this bacon is the Jamestown brand. When I went into the, today, you can kind of see it has more meat in it than the fat. These were $2.89. <laughs> and I was like blown away because I think I paid 
$4.59 or $4.89 at Walmart for a 12 ounce one. And then a couple weeks back when I did my other Aldi haul, I got one of these for $3.99. These were $2.89 and I went ahead and got them. I don't even know when that, because they're going to go in the freezer because this is something you can freeze and keep it in there. I mean, I wouldn't keep it in there too long. But I was gonna see what the expiration date was because I, was, I didn't check it when I was in the store because sometimes they are close to going out and that might be why they, they you know, put them down. But regardless, I'm gonna put this in. Here we go, it goes to, well, that's not that. I was gonna say this right here was it, but it says lift. Okay, I don't even see the expiration date and it's always usually probably right in my face. But regardless, I'm gonna put these in the freezer and I'm going to tell you, I've got so many things I want to do. And oh, here's right here in my face. It's on this little part where you can't never see. It says, free, best if used by June 18th, 2024. And of course, I'm going to probably put these in here. And I'll probably, eat, I'm pretty much sure I'm going to make a pack of bacon like probably every week or every other week because I have that many recipes and things that are just calling for bacon. And plus, you can always have it for breakfast. And I've been kind of making it and having it for snacks. $2.85. That is a steal for that bacon. I'm, I know it is, and I didn't hesitate. I was starting to get a third one, but I already had. I haven't even used the other one. I only used one of the bacons that I have, and I don't have too much. Now, I did get some of these because, like I said, I was hungry. And I um, like these, but the good thing about these little um, appetitos, mozzarella cheese sticks, after I eat about two of them, I'm done. It's like... That's all I can do with these. So I, want, I know I can control myself with these and I always make them like when I know my kids are coming over like for movie night and I might pop some in and, and you know, everybody get a couple of them. So I'm good on this one, but these I'm probably gonna have to be careful for even though my kids like them. This is also the Appetitos cream cheese stuffed jalapenos. Oh my gosh, I love these and I love the ones with the cream cheese in it. I don't care for the ones that have the cheddar. Comment, let me know if you have a preference if you like the cream cheese jalapeno stuff, um, jalapenos, if you even eat them, and, or do you like the cheddar cheese? Cause I just really like only the cream cheese one. I actually know how to make some of these without the crust. It's just like taking a jalapeno and um, putting cream cheese in it. And I'm gonna get back to doing that, but hadn't got there yet. So I just picked up these. They were $3.49 a piece and I'm gonna keep them in the freezer. And again, it's just like to have things when my kids are over because they're always here you know, unexpectedly, and then they're always wanting to eat because they just want to eat. And I was like that too. I'd always go to my granny's house and she'd always have stuff out for me. So I get it. All right, guys, last but not least, and thank you for hanging out with me today on this Aldi grocery store haul. I got these, and this is specifically for my grandson because my daughter buys something like this at Publix that's like five times more than, than these are. This is Lunch Buddies. And I have never seen these here. I don't know if it's a new thing or I just never paid attention to them because I don't eat this kind of stuff. But my grandson does and um, how I know, she, my daughter, was he was sitting there eating when I she said, yeah, I got those at Publix for like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. She says he loves them. Well, there's eight of them in here. There's no artificial flavors. Eight gram, excuse me, there's four, wait. Yeah, there's four of these, excuse me. And there is four servings and it's eight grams of protein and no artificial flavors. And it's the crustless peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Now I can make these on my own. I have the little um, empanada or dough kind of thing that you can make them. I have different little contraptions, but I thought I would try these because they're pre-made if we're trying to go out. Like when he stays over and we go to church, I might pop one of these and just give it to him and you know, do that because I can make the other ones and I do, I make them all the time for them. And these were $2 and 89 cents. And it was like three times less than what my daughter bought at Publix. And I don't know how many of those had, but I thought these were pretty cool. Um, I'm going to try to see about them and I'll, I'm hoping he'll love them. I think they look just kind of like the ones that my daughter bought. And yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Lunch buddies. First time I've ever seen that. So yeah, 70 something dollars later. <laughs> I don't know. Did I get a lot of stuff? Not really, um, but you know, I got some fruit and I got some staples, I got some water, I got some knickknacks and I got some, you know, protein and some meats. And I did get some sweets, but you know, you gotta live. You gotta have a little bit of life in you, right? But like I said, I'm learning to, you know, control it. No lie, I used to be that person who would get a bag of candy and the bag of candy would be gone within a week. I mean, and that would be me just eating it. Now, I don't bring candy like that in here. And if I bring certain things, 
you know, that I know like those little mini pancakes, the chocolate mini pancakes, I know that those could be kryptonite. I'll have one and then I'll probably send them off with my daughter or my son or my mom. <laughs> Somebody will take them away. But I thought they were stinking cute. And I am going to just tell you right off the bat, I am gonna have a piece of cheesecake, whether I have it now or have it at Easter. Now the cherry pie and the apple pie, here's a little tip. I'm not even a big cherry pie person or an apple pie person at all, so I'm not even worried about that. I will taste it because I wanted to see how those cherries are, but my family loves cobblers and, and apple pies and peach pies and all those pies. And I, I'm more of the type that likes the pecan pie, chocolate pies, those kind of things. All right, guys, like, share, comment. I might be back with another Aldi haul because I'm probably gonna be going more than not because I'm getting a little, you know, I'm concerned, let's just put it that way, about these outages, you know, the the, the internet's going down, the AT&T's out, your, your cell phone towers are going down. There's the emergency broadcast system floating around in different places. And, you know, if you're in the know and if you're some of the people who already know where I'm going with this, you know what I'm saying. So you need to stock up, have at least, I always say two to three weeks worth of food, but also have you a little backup for even longer, which is your rice, you know, your beans, you know, just anything that you can eat. I like to have saltine crackers and I do keep a big thing of peanut butter, even though peanut butter, you have to have water because if you don't have the water, that's gonna be crazy, but peanut butter is a good shelf life. And I may go in and talk about some of that stuff, but be safe and um, hopefully this will all pass. Maybe it's just a little fancy that's going on. Maybe it's not, but I'm not here about fear porning. I'm here to just tell you all these, even though this was $74, I got a bunch of stuff. It's gonna last me because I'm making meals and I'm making, um, and that's what I was gonna ask you. I don't know, I don't remember if I got a bunch of comments the last time about me writing down my meals, but when I really, really start doing the low carb, which means that no other junk will be in the house, which I'm getting closer to doing that because I've cleaned out so much and I'm not buying as much that I'm gonna start making menus and I'll show you what I'm eating and we'll see what the progress is. But anyway, I digress. I wanna go ahead and say to everybody, thank you again for checking out my channel. If you're new, subscribe. I got a bunch of things going on coming up in the next couple months, definitely in the month of March. We're just beginning guys. And for everybody else, I hope you're doing fantastic and say, stay safe in this crazy world. I'll see you soon. Bye guys. So guys, I wanted to end this video with a quick walkthrough of other items that Aldi's carries that I didn't purchase. They have different specialty brands that come out in all different varieties throughout the store. You just have to kind of walk through and see what you're interested in. New items pretty much every week. Again, I used to go to Aldi's every single week and shop when my kids were younger, but as I've gotten older and I don't have to make as many trips, I try to knock it out in like one or two trips a month. But if you can go weekly, if you are that type of person, especially for your produce, you're going to not find it anywhere at these prices. But I did want to, you know, just kind of show you the different areas of stuff that they have that you might be interested in that I did not get because there's all different kinds of different things. You know, like I'm not gonna get this right here. I will never eat sushi kind of stuff, but you may be into that. And guys, they just have stuff, you know, lobster. They have um, specialty items. There's some more of this, the St. Patrick's Lucky Charms. I would think that's for St. Patrick's Day, maybe not. And look at this, they have a great variety of specialty cheeses. That's one thing I really like about Aldi. You can get all kinds of cheeses, and if you want to test them out, it's not going to cost you a fortune to get a little block. You may like it, you may not, but if you do, you can look for it um, in the future. And this one looks pretty interesting to me. But yeah, um, they have everything. This here is wild herring, $6.99. You may like that. Um, all kinds of different things. I just wanted to kind of show you, and this is just one area of the store. It's going towards the um, freezer section and kind of specialty section where the cheeses and meats are. Yeah, definitely have to check out each and every section, in my opinion, to see what they have because you just never know if it's something that you're going to be interested in and something that is going to be a, a game changer, all right? And this here, it looks like it might be pretty good. It's already shredded meat. So yeah, check out all these and let me know what you think, guys.